So, alright. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening sa ating mga kababayan. Alright, so last week I was not able uh, to record but uh, buti maagaga ngayon. Right, so this is PSEI Rika. This is for our next week's trading. So again, uh, before we start, the quick word uh, from our sponsor. No, uh, This comes from Proverbs chapter uh, 13 verse 1. Wealth gain hastily will dwindle, but whoever gathers little by little will increase it. No? So, alright. So, uh, ang gusto ko dito sa approach na ito, it's very, very timely. No? Uh, I don't know if you are in the news, no? but uh, uh, dito sa Pilipinas, uh, balitang balita na. No? Alright, so we have yung uh, one of the groups na reportedly uh, nagbibigay ng, uh, I think that is more than ano, 30% sa kanila uh, investment and that is a very very red flag uh, for for most of us no of course alam niyo ng mga traders uh, medyo napaka hirap at uh, talagang imposible ang uh, ganyang kalalaking percent i think that is uh, uh, for, for a week ba or monthly yung kanilang 30% that is a very very red flag so again uh, i remember it uh, way way back nung estudyante pa ako I was invited into something na uh, ganito rin, no? Parang ganito rin yung, uh, uh, tawag dito, yung kanilang mga topic. And then, there were uh, a lot of people na uh, nagsasalita sa stage na, oh, uh, nakabili ako ng ganito, nakabili ako ng kotse, nakabili ako ng ganito. And then, one of the things na talagang finally uh, nag-convince sa akin na talagang, uh, hindi to totoo or it's too good to be true even though I was still very young. Uh, may naringgan ako ng, uh, of course, uh, kinuha niya para yung cellphone ng kapatid niya and then uh, sinanla or binenta parang ganun dating. Tapos, yun yung ginamit niyang pang invest. No? So, that is one of the red flag. And then, red flag number two, uh, naringgan ko naman is uh, something to effect na even though hindi ka masyadong mag invite or something magbebenta ng mga produkto, you will still be ahead. Uh, you will still be a millionaire after a year. So, buti na lang. Uh, baga sa ano, medyo bata-bata pa ako nun eh. I was really, really uh, way, way back pa yun. Uh, many years ago. And then, I was able to discern na it's too good to be true. So, alright. So, again, so that is only one of the few things, no? Few verses in the Bible that's really timeless. So again, uh, the book was written 2,000 years ago. Uh, it's still really, really applicable, no? Pagdating dito sa ating uh, mga modern times, no? So again, I'd like you to read your Bible and again, uh, have the, ano, the initiative, no? To read it and make it a habit because it will save you a lot of, uh, Headaches, no? Of course, uh, more than that, marami ka pang rin matututunan. And of course, as you read through, many things will be revealed to you. So again, uh, that is our quick word from our sponsor. Let's now move on, no? Sa ating uh, normal review. Again, uh, as a disclosure, no? Again, as a warning to all of you, anything that I would say at this point in time, uh, tawag dito, ano na lang to eh. Kumbaga, we're just... Uh, Increasing our chances based on the charts on our field on the market sa ating mga uh, iba pang factors, no? Again, uh, the, anything that you would do, dapat uh, you have to take responsibility, no? That's number one. Uh, I have not yet or seen any trader na nagsaksid dito sa market uh, with blaming others and then with uh, wishing the market would sana would be easy, no? So, wala. Wala pa ako nakikita ang ganun. And I think that is one of the necessary things na kinakalaman mong maintindihan once you are in this uh, type of uh, business. So, again, uh, anything that I would say, take it with a grain of salt. Again, the last decision would fall upon you. Ikaw yung mag-click ng buy button or sell button. So, again, you're just here for uh, more information or info gathering or probably... Uh, you have missed uh, monitoring the market for this week. You just want a quick rundown no? or probably mga position that you should be uh, looking at for the next week. Alright, so again, PSEI gained uh, 7 points. Again, we're, we're closing at 7,990. 
And again, no, for the fourth time, I think this is the fourth time na sa 8,000 level it was rejected. And of course, uh, if you are uh, really in tune no, uh, with the global news, the global trading ngayon, of course, that is has something to do with the international market. No, we're, we're really seeing, no, especially U.S. Uh, imposing tariffs no not only just on china but recently sa mexico and sa india no so of course there, there's a ripple effect over all the market and then the market would definitely uh, not is going to be uh, good no at least uh, at this point in time we're we're really really cautious no and again uh, which we're we're really looking at the charts uh this is the triple top no na nakita na recently Indeed, of course, it was retested, I think, uh, two weeks ago. Here we are, and it's probably normalizing. No? So, I think at this point in time, uh, meron pa rin momentum, meron pa rin pag-asa na we finally break yung 8,000 level, uh, yung, yung, yung resistance dyan. But it should not fall again sa box sa 7,900 level. I think uh, for the next week or next two weeks, we should at least see na mag-stabilize dyan, no? Sa 7,000 to 8,000 level man lang, no? So, again, uh, itong area na to, everybody was feeling genius, no? Dito sa area na to. And then, everybody was, uh, tawag cheering. And, of course, that is not case, no? Talagang, uh, matindi yung level na yun. Of course, pinababa na siya, no? So, again, this is the fourth time at least, ang um, maganda-ganda rito, we, we finally pierce yung uh, level na yan, 799 na yan, dito sa level na to. And then, find, probably, no, sana mag-rest na lang doon, no, inside the box, no, itong uh, week na to or next week, no. So, again, that is, uh, marami pa tayong dapat antabayanan dito sa ating uh, index. Of course, uh, we are seeing a lot of noise. And we're now going to review yung ating move of the week. So, of course, this is, uh, Cyber Bay Corporation. So again, uh, Cyber Bay, uh, of course, this is a definitely an intraday stock, meaning uh, dapat uh, intraday ang approach mo dito. Or one of the things na you don't have anything uh, going on this stock. No? Earnings is, uh, I, I think, on the negative side, if I'm correct. And then uh, project wise, we don't see anything na. Uh, on the horizon this is just pure technical technical no of course medyo mabagal sa market uh, nangyayari naman to kapag wala yung mga strong names eh no and then uh, probably yung mga traders were were really bored and then they are initiating yung mga ganitong klase ng pag ano so i think for for this week yung most of our approach pag move of the week na ganito medyo suspicious name catch and release i think uh, probably ganun naman eh no uh, probably uh, continuation on down candle to for the next three to four days and then probably no there's a chance na on the third or fourth day mag uh, tawag dito yung catch and release nga or yung tinatawag na lang one day reversal and I think technically speaking really really good position sa 44.50 no or 46 area dito tayo mag -aabang. so when uh Monday, of course, definitely, you can maglalagay ng inyong uh, position dito, no? You just wait and react kung ano yung gagawin niya doon sa level na yan. Uh, of course, uh, Cyber Bay, medyo suspicious name. Alam nyo na, no? So, do not put your life savings into it. Uh, this is a more of technical and more of a speculative uh, uh, buy, no? For me. At least for me, no? Uh, of course, iba iba tayo ng level of uh, proficiency if you have not yet. Of course, kapag baguhan ka, huwag ka naman pumwesto dito or uh, mag-trade kapag ganito. Because this is a risky-risky stock, no? Of course, kaya mo naman din papasukin ito because it could move easily 15-20% in one day and that's a good, good uh, profit already. So again, that's our move of the week, no? Last week in Cyber Bay. Of course, uh, we're going to the sentiment of the market of course we're going to uh, rate it at five we're going to be neutral no we're, we're going to speculate or uh put our hopes way up high 
uh, we're just going to uh, again observe no itong market natin if it should uh, finally uh, move up to the 8000 level na matagal na nating hinihintay no again there's a lot of confusion no dito na naman sa 8k level you see once it uh, broke yung 8000 bigla namang yung mga sellers was able to uh, unload on their shares and then ngayon there's a lot of noise no during a uh, during uh dun sa position na yun again uh, there's a lot of strong names who will exhibit top price action again of course uh side lane ka na lang muna no for the meantime and uh of course speaking of top price action the strong name no one of the strong names talaga na nakita natin uh way way back pa no i think nung Nandito pa lang when it's starting out yung kanyang movement dito sa area na to. We're able to to ride it. I hope you ride it, no? Katulad ko, was able to ride it. Uh, of course, ano na nangyayari dito sa pen? Uh, I think this is the first uh, legit pullback, no? And of course, uh, we don't want to this to really, uh, ano tawag dito? To really, really go down. And kung uh, talagang uh, medyo talagang mahina yung market natin, of course, kahit sana mga 240 or 220, magabang tayo, no? First legit, uh, na, I think, no? First legit na pullback nitong pen, of course, sa mga hindi nakasakay. And then, uh, this is probably the opportunity, no? To buy. And, uh, of course, observe, observe din, no? Uh, 220, medyo solid buy na yan. Supported naman yun ng box dito sa area na to. Of course, uh, pen, as we all know, there are a lot of, uh, nangyayari dito, future projects. The, the, the stock itself, uh, I think sa, on the financial side, wala pa masyadong pinapakita, but the market is pricing it based on the future projection, no? Nung stock na to. And of course, uh, mayroon siyang deal dito with the AC Energy. And of course, it's being uh, positively impacted nung deal na yun. Of course, uh, yun ang ano natin, probably, uh, this this really topish no but uh, i think this is the first we have to say na talagang is the first time na makita natin nag pull back ng matindi tong pen for the last i think uh, two months talagang solid yung movement niya so again uh, ito yung price level na I, I should be looking at uh, and then uh, talagang magti-trigger ako dito once na may makita akong opportunity or maganda gandang candle formation no so again that's our take for pen Let's now move on. No? ISM communication, I think for the last uh, review natin, I was not really keen dito sa ISM because of the uh, low turnover. But right now, no, with the market, is definitely uh, dwindling, no? yung kanyang turnover. I think this is one of the bright spot, no. Finally, we're seeing movement. We're seeing volume dito sa ISM. And for now, we don't see it uh, racketing patas talagang todong-todo. Uh, what I'm seeing dito sa ISM is more on sa pwestuhan, no? Or position trading. Uh, this is the level na talagang solid-solid kang bumili. Either at 6 or 6.20. If you have ISM, probably makapagdagdag ka rito. Or if you have not yet uh, considered ISM, uh, 6, no? I, I, I think nagkaroon ng, ano eh, nagkaroon ng positive sentiment with the sales of yung mga treasury sales no ng ISM of course that's really really uh, driving the activity for the last week I think tong ISM no I think so for the meantime uh doon ako mag-aabang no uh, papansin niyo yung mga picks ko ngayon probably puro mga pwestuhan no uh, position trading or probably we're anticipating uh, some stock na we should be really really you know and if you are really really uh watching the market for the last week you're going to see, no, ISM is definitely one of those stocks na matataas yung trading, traded value, no. I think kumawag pa to na, nasa 100M plus, no, if I'm not mistaken. Of course, you can still review that. Uh, yun lang, no, I think 620 or 6 uh, peso, that would be a good, good uh, price level na to watch uh, makabili itong ISM, no. Uh, medyo matagal-tagal pa yata ito bago makapag-operate I do not think na they have already started installing yung kanilang mga towers no but uh, definitely needed by our ano by our country 
uh, of course, uh, isa sa mga stocks na, again, uh, we should be watching 280, 290. Of course, there's a big, big resistance, no? Para rin siyang, ano, no? PSEI, when you compare yung PSEI. So, again, CHP. Uh, I think hindi pa tapos to, no? Itong CHP. And it's definitely, definitely, uh, I, I think, no, kung nangyayari dito, the best thing that it could happen dito sa CHP, mag-consolidate dito sa 270, 280 area. And then, before it finally uh, going to break loose, no? Papuntang sa 3 pesos, no? Of course, alam naman natin, since uh, nag-reversal ito, the, the driving factor, the driving news, kung ba tumataas ng CHP, of course, yung importation of taxes, no? Pagdating doon sa mga uh, foreign cement na mga products, uh, magkakaroon ng, ano to, ng maganda effect sa CHP because it will definitely drive yung sales. Ng CHP, no? of course, uh, marami tayong projects na narinig sa ating government, probably isa sa mga beneficiary itong CHP. And let's see, no? uh, itong 280, 290 remains to be a resistance. No? Medyo matindi dito talaga. And uh, tingnan natin, no? uh, yun ang mas safe, eh, no? once it reaches in 290, that's a much, much better uh, buy. No? But then again, uh, of course, right now, observation mode muna tayo, on the side line tayo. And yun lang yung price level na tinitignan natin dito no, sa CHP. And again, no, one of the stocks na I was really amazed, no? Because uh, hindi masyadong matindi yung kanyang naging uh, pag-pull back. And we're seeing na yung talaga uh, 13 to 13.50 area was really, really solid. Uh, ano, no? Every time it goes down sa, sa 13.50 uh, area, medyo some, someone is buying. No? Of course, uh, CHP, whole same, same story, same sentiment din naman yan. Of course, alam naman natin itong whole same. Uh, right now, no, uh, it's one of the stocks na probably uh, on the strong side pa rin, no? And of course, uh, hindi masyadong, uh, I, I mean, maganda yung kanyang pagkakonsolidate. Hindi masyadong umalalim na malalim yung pag-retrace. Pag and of course, we're seeing buyers around this, no? We're seeing movement, we're seeing small waves. And probably this would uh, catapult this uh, uh, above or beyond 16, no? And, um, pwestuhan, pwestuhan talaga muna tong whole seam and then patience, have, have a little patience din dito. Of course, the market is not really uh, doing well, no? The overall market natin, confusion at 8,000 level, that would be effect. But, uh, for position traders, again, uh, much, much better if it, it would not touch yung, uh, below 1350 for this stock, for, for the momentum and the positive sentiment to to continue. I think, no, uh, kahit sa 1370 man lang, no, tumalbog siya rito, of course, Monday or Tuesday, baka dito sa level na to, bumaba pa yan. And then before it, finally, no, kasi mapapansin mo, parang tumatalon na siya, eh, no, palaki ng palaki, of course, one, and then lumalaki movement, and then we're really uh, speculating that it would uh, create a much bigger wave on the next turn, no. Again, uh, alam niyo naman din yung story nito, same with CHP, uh, build, 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 and then yung uh, import taxes no, sa mga foreign cement. So again, put this on your watch list, and again, uh, ikaw yung final decision would rest upon you. No? Hindi sa mga narinig mo to, sa akin or anything positive or negative na masasabi ko sa stock because kinakailan you have to take in yung responsibility, no? And at this moment, at this point in time, pag ganito yung market, a lot of probably new or beginners sa market will probably lose interest. Uh, sabi ko lang sa inyo na dapat pag mga ganito, yung market, hindi yung masyadong muusad or definitely not interesting. Kinakailangan, ano ka pa rin, no? Continuous yung inyong ano, uh, improvement. Not only on the ano, no? technical side, but probably uh, yung... Uh, how you approach the market, no? So, you have to be in tune, no? Para probably, pagka nandiyan na yung, yung market turn, big, big market turn, isa ka sa mga mauna, no? 
So, yun na naman yung mga napapansin ko eh, no? And, of course, isa sa mga stocks, no? Na talagang, kumbaga sa, ano natin, I, I was really one of the few, few, uh, I think, na nagsabi sa inyo, this multi-year high, I think dito pala yun sa level na yun, eh, no? 110, 120 level. Right now, it's really, really, ano, uh, topish sa 148, nag-close siya. But, uh, with the way the market is going, I think this is a good, good position to buy, no? Below 140 to 133, if I'm not mistaken, dyan sa level na yan, dyan ako maganda ang bibili, no? Maganda rito sa ICT, of course, hindi masyado masakit sa ulo, no? Of course, parang trend following ka lang, and then, uh, kumbaga sa ano, less hassle, eh, less na babantayan. Nung mga nag-uumpisa ako, these are the kind of stocks na I am looking at, no? Yung more on the trend following lang and then wala masyado ka uh, tawag dito. Problema. And then uh, papasilip-silip lang ako sa portfolio ko. I think this one of the stocks na dapat na inaano mo. No? So I think for the last, since the start of the year, definitely ang lakas ng uptrend niya. No? Imagine mo if you were able to, to buy that. No? And of course, uh, put this on your watch list again, itong ICT. I think this will uh, trend, no? I think for the rest of the year. And, uh, maganda rito, no? Uh, hindi niya masyadong iniinda yung uh, the way the market, no? May, may sarili siyang mundo. Sabihin nga natin itong ICT na to. And with the Philippines going to be one of the buyers, no? Of course, uh, yung ating digital explosion, of course, aware naman kayo dyan, di ba? Lazada, Shopee, of course, malalakas na yung uh, ano dito, no? Probably ito yung nagpo-push ng ano natin, ng container services, no? Yung mga ganyan, ano. And then, with Amazon, no? Even ako, dito ako sa Pilipinas, ayaw purchasing sa Amazon pa. Yung mga ibang items na wala rito. Of course, uh, one of the concept stocks, what I mean is, uh, probably, no, magkakaroon ng shape of sentiment uh, with the gold rising and the global market uh, uncertainty happening. A uh, lot of traders will uh, probably uh, put their chips sa gold. And we're, see we're seeing a strong, strong uh, buying level dito, no, sa 286. Of course, 294 area. And then, itong big, big candle uh, last time was to really uh, flash out, no? Yung mga weak hands. And came out to be true. Uh, no Friday, was really, it was already uh, na ano, no? Tumaas siya sa 310 level. Of course, we're not really setting really, really good hope na talagang magdire-direct yung pataas to. But as the gold prices increase, uh, one of the beneficiary, if not, no, itong Felix Mining. And let's try to check and see, no, kung, kung i re niya ba or much, much better if ma-hit niya itong 340, ma-breach niya itong 340, that will be a really, 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 really interesting position itong PX, no. So again, this is a concept stock, very volatile. Do not put your, uh, Of course, that's our review for today and maraming salamat. Of course, last but not least pala itong mega wide, no? Mega wide, 